The mindset I have going into competitive matches, I'm a more serious or focused person on the game, and I try to keep communications efficient as possible and like try to only say what is needed to be said. In 2019, I had personal goals to put my name out there. OC had really talented ADC players who have now gone overseas and competed and also performed really well. I sort of wanted to be up there in the list of names. In my first split of OPL, I was playing on Avant Gaming. We had exciting and explosive start in the early weeks and the first split of our team. In split two, we had explosive start. We were like near the top of the table or top of the standings uh, in the early few weeks. We had a lot of uh, issues within the team that we weren't able to fix by the end of the split. Some roster changes that happened near the end of the split, we barely missed playoffs. So it was a disappointing end to a run that left more to be desired. and. I guess there was a lot more potential that we thought we had. There are a few highlight moments from 2019 roster where we had taken games off teams we perceived were really good. Specifically, there was like a few games versus the Mammoth roster. There was the Ziggs Karma game. I mean, here comes Miru, massive Olaf coming out of the base, and Chips is going to start off right now into the pit, but Bip is already down, but trying to get away from this play, and Destiny, wrong side of the wall, friend, not with the rest of the team, that's going to be a second kill, over to Olaf, there's the Herald, and AV cement their lead. From split one, we played uh, Yasuo Alistair bottom lane, and it was kind of just like a really, really exciting game to play because there's a lot of back and forth around the map. I remember I watched back the VOD, there are a few moments where uh, on the player camera, you could see me like jumping up and down uh, in my chair, just like when I'm like running out of base. That's how like hyped I was uh, playing the match. And the rest of Mammoth aren't too far behind. Will they go for the collapse? In goes the Syndra, looking for even more. And they try to combo one. They do take a lot of damage here as Zaboon is trying to play guard. Shock is going to start this off by taking out Destiny Triple. Will fall soon after. And Mammoth still trying to clean up, but they unfortunately just run out of members. Big shutdown given over to Gun Crab. And they decisively take the fight. Some of my main takeaways was my first year. I guess playing in a gaming house with my teammates. I learned the team environment and atmosphere and how to give and receive feedback, just the basis of um, improving and learning as a team. And also question the norm a bit more and not really accept the meta as the meta. And like, we didn't try to only play the meta picks. Like we tried to come up with innovative, like new strategies to bend the meta or like counter it in different ways. Whole process of like what's perceived to be good, what's good against what's perceived to be good. I'd say our team dynamic split, we've been a lot more energetic uh, compared to previous weeks. And when it comes to practice and stage games, I feel I feel like uh, there's a lot more energy and everyone on the team is a lot more comfortable playing with each other. And it's yielded us, I think, better results than the past. And I think we are learning at a faster rate than before. And at the same time, when it comes down to being self-critical and giving feedback to each other, I think we're still grounding ourselves and problem solving properly with each other. Our split two performance so far has been kind of similar to how we progressed in split one. We had a kind of rocky start and had to do a lot of figuring out and uh, problem solving uh, issues within the team. And uh, I think we're on an upwards trajectory. Uh, I just hope that when the time comes to playoffs, we can perform much better than we did last time.